Well, Mrs. Davis. I'm here, so what did you want to see me about? Hello Johnny. I understand you've been seeing quite a bit of my daughter, Christina. Oh, that. Yes. We've bonded over having insane, abusive fathers who are mob bosses, and our mutual hatred for Sonny. It's a beautiful thing. Johnny, you should realize that Christina is very vulnerable right now. Don't worry. I hate the mob and want no part in it. I plan to destroy it by now totally immersing myself in it because that worked so well for Dante. Besides, I am not even your typical gangster. I am a mobster, slash mechanic, slash musician. Yes, yes, we all know you're a jerk of all trades. But what I need- Excuse me, Mrs. Davis. Yes, Johnny? What is it? Is it really necessary to have this conversation in a courtroom? Are you charging me with unlawful hotness? It feels pretty intimidating to have you up there looking down on me. Johnny, you are feeling intimidated for two reasons. First, I am better than you. That's why I am sitting here, judging you, like a judge. Surely, you can grasp that much. Okay. So what's the second reason? You are unaccustomed to dealing with women who are intelligent, strong, and self-possessed. Look at your history. Maxie. Lulu. Even my once brilliant daughter is now a simpering idiot. You are woefully unprepared for a real woman, like me. I think you're forgetting about my relationship with my half-sister Claudia. I think you were all trying to forget about your relationship with your crazy dead sister. Sonny killed her. She was a saint. Claudia felt bad, really bad, about getting Michael shot in the head. But Sonny destroyed her anyway, with his abuse. As a mobster, he is a meanie. I had sex once with Sonny Corinthus, so I know all about abuse. Now stop talking about Claudia. She's dead and nobody cares. Listen to me. I don't want you to use Christina as part of your plan to bring down Sonny Corinthus. I just see that aspect of it as gravy. Believe me, it's really about tapping that young, firm, hot. Shut up, you greaseball monkey. God. Why are all the women in this town so drawn to lowlifes? I was once the district attorney, but ruined my career over that psycho terrorist Jerry Jacks. I can tell you that, Down Under, was a sad disappointment. I thought you were sexing up the police commissioner, Scorpio. Oh Johnny, you are such a naive, no, stupid man. As it is, I am barely on screen now. Do you really think I would want dead weight, like Mac? No. And that brings me to why I wanted to talk to you. So what is it? I have things to do. I have to pour sugar down Sonny's gas tank, and replace all his glassware with plastic. It's all part of my master plan to destroy Sonny. Johnny. I think it's time you had a normal relationship with a real woman. Not some insipid adolescent, or something bordering on incest. I've been with Olivia for a year or two. Believe me, she's a real woman. But she has the mind of a five-year-old. Only an idiot like Carly would think Olivia was smart enough to run water, let alone a hotel. That clipboard is empty. All she knows how to do is, lube a motor, and heat up sausage. Testify. You need a woman with more going on in her head than in her panties. Clearly, that would be me. Mrs. Davis? Are you trying to seduce me? As much as I would like to arch one of my legs suggestively, my sciatica is acting up. Besides, who has time for that? My ticking clock has Roman numerals. Johnny, I just want to get down to brass tacks. Figuratively speaking. Maybe literally too. But why would I choose you over Christina? She's young and sexy. Because you know Johnny, the lasagna always tastes better after it's been in the refrigerator for a week or two. <laughs> Don't be a child. I am what's best for you. How do you figure that? Because I have already killed twice. Don't make me go all Cassadine on your ass. You won't be so appealing as a corpse. But let's not dwell on unpleasantries, Johnny. I want to start calling you, Young Sonny. Gee, Mrs. Davis. Call me Alexis. Okay, Mrs. Davis. I am. What's the word I'm looking for? Aroused? Flattered? Nauseated. Look here. I'm gonna stick with Christina. I'm an older, shady mobster and Christina is a teenage drama queen. I figure she and I can steal Sonny's black book and go on the run all summer, and Sonny can send hitmen after us. 
It will be a summer of romance and adventure. That again. Don't worry. Most everybody who would remember that has stopped watching a long, long time ago. It will be new to most of our viewers. But what good does that do, me? I know this is a courtroom but I'd like to be honest here, Mrs. Davis. Up until today, I had no idea you were actually Christina's mother. I pretty much assumed Sam was... No. Sam is her half-sister and was almost your aunt but never her mother. So far. Who the hell knows what changes tomorrow will bring. So, I guess that's that. There is one more thing. What is it now? You have a gun on you, don't you, Johnny? Of course. Do me a favor, put it on the bench for me. And then make sure you lock the doors when you leave. Thank you, Johnny. Careful with that gun, Mrs. Davis. It's loaded and you really shouldn't be using it to scratch your head because... Good thing I gave her, Ethan's gun.